here's the first uh, lick, and you know I've said it before, but these licks are meant to be added to your vocabulary and, and altered and modified. Here's the first lick that I got for you. Oh, no sound again. <laughs> So it starts with a repeating lick, and that's going to be a bend on the 14th fret of the G string right there. Then 12th fret on the uh, B string. And then I'm using my pinky on the 15th fret of the B string. So that's the repeating lick right there. Now check this out, there's a few things. One, when I hit that 12th fret B string, my ring finger is coming off of the G string. So why aren't you hearing that big honky open G string? It's mostly my right palm right here muting it after I pick it. So you can't hear that right now. But I know how much pressure to add and how far down to go to mute the strings above what I'm playing. But if you can't do the lick, then I don't want you to be worrying about the muting yet. But that's just something I want to point out. So we're bending the 14 on the G. And then going to the 12th fret on the B. And then pinky on the 15th of the B. And we keep repeating that. Now look at the pick, the picking part of that. I'm kind of dragging my pick down so So with one pick I'm going boo da, you know, two of them. And then an up pick on that 15 of the B string. Now watch super slow. And then eventually, on the la you know, whenever I've finished repeating that lick, I'm going to get my ring finger to the 15 instead. The reason I'm not doing it on the repeating part is because my ring finger is using the uh, 14 on the G and it's hard to get over there. Unless I know I'm not going back and I'm going to go to my B string bend on the 15th fret of the B string. Now there are guitar players that will bend, especially higher up on the neck, they'll actually, they will use uh, their middle finger, you know you got the 12th fret and the 14th fret, but use your middle finger, index there and then ring finger there. Like. And that's just not how I do it. But either way is going to work, so you might be more used to one way. There's, there's amazing guitar players that don't use their pinky at all. So just keep that in mind. Okay, the next thing we're going to do after the repeating lick is that 15 of the B. I've switched it to my ring finger. The other two fingers are behind it, and I'm bending it up a whole step. Okay, once I've bent that 15 on the B, and I'm going to the 12th fret on the high E, 
Then I'm pulling off from the 15 to the 12 on the B. Then 14th fret on the G string, and we're going to bend it up, back down natural, 12th fret G with some vibrato. Really slow. Altogether slow. So that's a good variation right there. Instead of as a repeating lick, you can also repeat it where you just double up on that 12th fret of the B string right there. and matching them too. That little piece can be repeated. Okay, one more time, the, the main lick. So that's the first one.